Hello everybody and welcome back to episode 56 of Saving South End with me, Bell Nation. Today we take on Sunderland in, well we're in October now, we're a little bit into the season, we're nine games in. The transfer window is shut, we've had one incoming, one outgoing since we last met. We're scoring for fun and we've got an injury crisis. Roll the intro and let's get into this. So as I said viewers, we are well into the season now. We followed up yesterday's good win in the opening day against Blackpool with a 5-1 win against Grimsby, where we were 5-0 up before half-time with goal scorings from Ollie Turner, Jack Parkinson getting a brace, Mel Mitchell and Casey Palmer all scoring. Casey Palmer in this game got four assists as well and he came out with a rating of 9.4. And then we scored another five as we beat Portsmouth in the Carabao Cup first round with Parkinson getting a brace, Ollie Turner, Casey Parman getting another one and mm hand scoring. I mean, we scored three goals in five minutes there. So it looks a little bit better than what it was, but still a really good victory against a team in the, in the division above. Then back to the league, we drew one all with Oxford with both goals coming in the first five minutes. Casey Palmer after a minute and then Gary Kane in the fifth and we ultimately drew one all. Then we were back to winning ways with a 3-1 victory against Huddersfield. Mm hand scoring in 15 minutes, then Mouthrin, and then Palmer getting his third goal in as many games to make it 3-0 and Huddersfield scored in the 92nd minute. Then a tough draw in the Carabao Cup where we lost 3-1 to Swansea who were 1-0 up after three minutes. A Kande scored a hat-trick for them. Parkinson pulled one back but their quality shone through and we dropped out of the cup. Back to the league, we had a disappointing loss against Tramia where Mhan scored in the 54th minute to put us 1-0 up. Two quick goals from Tramia saw us off. They went down to 10 men with 18 minutes remaining, but we couldn't grab a goal back. Over to the Pizza Trophy, Gordon scored his first goal for the club in a 1-0 win against Crawley. And then he was on the score sheet again in the next game as we drew one all with Rochdale, who scored in the 83rd minute to nick two points off us and they walked away with a point and we ultimately did as well, unfortunately. And then Gordon scored once again in a losing effort, his third goal in as many games, as we lost 3-2 to Ipswich, where we were 2-0 down, 2-1, 3-1, and then Gordon scored to make it 3-2, but we couldn't see Ipswich off, and we left Suffolk empty-handed. And then we were straight back to winning ways with a 4-0 victory over Gillingham, with Umhan scoring, Malfrin and Gordon getting a brace as well to make it 4-0. And then Gordon, once again, rounding the month off really well. He did get player of the month. He scored in a 3-1 victory where he got a goal. Yestin Lewis scored. Youngster Ian Jones scored as well. And Newport's County scored in the 93rd minute. And that sets us up for today's game against Sunderland on the back of two victories in a row. And all those results ultimately see us lie in six at the moment. Two points off the top, but our goal difference is really, really good at the moment. Two losses have affected us a little bit, but the season is still early days. So there's plenty of opportunity for us to break away at the top of that table and call those two points back. As I said in the intro, we had a new sign-in at the club and this is him. It's Nick McCallum. He's come on loan from Hull for the rest of the season. £500 a week, two-star ability player, potential three, maybe four. 19-year-old striker, can play in the middle and on the right as well. I think he could be someone that can play a bit part for us and probably come off the bench and later on and maybe try and get one or two goals for us from set pieces. The player sale that we have had is Seamus Cheevers, a man that we were looking at trying to break through into the first-team squad. He made two appearances for us this season with no goals, but Middlesbrough met his release clause of £500,000. And for a player that's not really played, £500,000 is a lot of money. And we couldn't stand his way because the release clause was activated. I hope he does well at Middlesbrough. A little bit disappointed he couldn't kick on here and develop. And as I said in the intro as well, we have got a bit of an injury crisis. Six players missing at the moment. So Yestin Lewis is missing with a pulled calf. He's out for six days to three weeks. Sam Garten, youngster, has got a bruised ankle, so he will miss out today and is expected to be out for another day. Ibrahim Mansarel on loan from Watford. He's pulled his knee ligaments in again, expected to be out for another one to two weeks. Dan Lundulu will miss out today. He has pulled a calf muscle and it's not worth risking him. So again, he's very close to fitness, but is not going to be fit enough for the game today. Nick McCallum, another one, twisted his ankle six to 12 days out, so will miss out. And the big one is Jack Parkinson. He broke his ankle whilst away on international duty with Gibraltar and is still expected to be out for another three to five months. And his expected return is the 5th of January. But I think when he's back to full fitness, we probably won't see him again until the end, which is a big, big blow for us. Let's see how we get on without our firepower as we take on Sunderland. 
Lundulu is fit enough for the bench today, so but he does miss out because I didn't want to risk him all that much. Ian Jones starts up front in his place, so the starting eleven is Archie Mary and Goal, the back three of Medley, Mitchell and Humphreys. Malfrey on the left, Shaughnessy and Stevenson in the middle with Palmer on the right. Hand is in behind, Ian Jones and Gordon leading the line for us. Looking at Gordon to score some more goals. hand has got four to his name as well, Palmer's got five, so there's plenty of goals in this team. And like I say, hopefully we can bring some firepower to Sunderland and collect three points at home. We'll get those fists pumping. Tell the media have been on the backs for ages. I don't know if they have or not, but apparently they have. But we'll tell them again that we've got faith in them to go out and do it. As I say, it's a mixture of a side today with the injuries. Hopefully we've got enough about us to pick up three points. And we walk out here at Roots Hall and kickoff is underway. The last time we played Sunderland, we did beat them in our promotion season. Can we do that again today? Mayor into Medley, first half after just five minutes. Humphreys heads it on, Mouthrin, and it's just picked up by Sunderland. Medley picks it back up though into Shaughnessy. All the way back to Mayor in our goal. Humphreys, what can he do? Into Stevenson. Finds Mitchell. This is a good little bit of play that we've built up here. And Gordon is through. Ian Gordon. Uh, sorry, not Ian Gordon. That's Ian, Ian Jones up front. But Gordon misses, unfortunately, as he is one-on-one. -on -one. Don't worry, Gordon. I know your name. Palmer gets the ball in. Oh, and Collins comes and collects it very, very easily there. And at 10 minutes in, well, that was a good little bit of build-up play there. We'll drop some encouragement on the boys. As that's a poor goal kick, which Palmer heads forward. Casey Palmer, what an inspired signing he's been for us so far. Really shining through with his quality that he's brought to this team. As Sunderland looked to break forward, that was challenge has been ridden really easily there. Stevenson pu pulls it out into M hand. Jones finds Gordon back to Jones. M hand there just gets nicked in the middle of the park, but Stevenson feeds it all the way back. Can we break forward here? M hand, good ball through to Gordon. Gordon one on one, and he gets it. There it is. His seventh goal of the season. John Gordon with a second one-on-one, -on -one, and there is his good opportunity to put it into the back of the net. Good ball through by Humphreys there into Shaughnessy and finds Mhand and a lovely ball by Mhand finds God who's got in between the two centre backs and there it is again Sunderland we are one 0 up after just twelve minutes here and we have looked the better team Sunderland have not even had a shot on target at the moment and we are absolutely dominating this game. Casey Palmer with a free kick. Oh my word, the keeper's made a mess of it. And Casey Palmer with his sixth goal of the season fires it in the back of the net. And Collins has had an absolute nightmare there. Let's watch that again. Casey Palmer, look at that. Good free kick. Always spinning, always turning, but Collins should have done better. It was right down his throat. And we go up into second at the moment. And third, rather, sorry. As there's a Sunderland corner, we want to keep a, a clean sheet here. Oh, but it's been given as a penalty. Lucas Stevenson has pushed Hector Ingram, who will take the penalty. He steps up. Can Archie Mayer save it? Archie Mayer, he doesn't save it. Doesn't save it. And Jamal Hector Ingram scores. That is a disappointing way to concede on 25 minutes. So close as well. But Archie Mayer just can't get there, unfortunately. And he has now conceded. Mm hand, what can he do? Finds Humphreys. Back three is looking okay at the moment. Gordon flicks onto Jones. Jones is, gets another bite. Gordon, no. Oh, and Collins picks it out. How have we not put the ball in the back of the net? Jones was unlucky there not to get the ball at his feet. Sniffed out twice, but oh, Gordon should have done a little bit better there, I think. Medley, long ball down. Jones picks it up there. One on one. Jones, oh, he's giving the keep of the eyes. And Ian Jones with his second goal of the season. There it is. 3-1 after 25 minutes here. And as I said, we are scoring for fun. And today is absolutely no different. Lovely ball down by Medley. Look at that. Launch down the pitch. Jones in acres of space. Give the keeper the eyes. It's hit the inside of the post and rolled over the line. And it is 3-1 here at South End. What a way to win at this game. At the, be winning this game at the moment. We haven't won it yet. That's a weird corner by Sunderland. Outside the area. Get the ball back in. But... Medley deals with it comfortably. Jones, the goal scorer, picks it up and feeds Gordon through. Mouthering it on the left. Good ball. Oh, and Casey Palmer. Casey Palmer is there again. And 4-1, not even half an hour gone. And we have scored four goals. We look so dangerous going forward. Lovely bit of play once again. Mouthering picks out Palmer absolutely perfectly. Unmarked on that right-hand side. And there he is. Slots it past the goalkeeper. And his quality is showing through. And he does a cartwheel for us as well. And as I said, we go up to third at the moment. Half time coming up then. 15 plus on the old goal difference there. Sees us comfortably in third. 
and we just need to keep on scoring. Cardiff and Plymouth, two points clear of us at the moment. Well, I'll stretch the arms and tell the boys that we are very happy with that. And the second half is underway. We will start making some changes soon. As Lapsey with a corner for Sunderland and it's headed away. Humphreys deals with it comfortably. Sabara Jones has done well. He's given away another penalty. He's not done well. Oh, that's a disappointing goal to concede. If it goes in, a disappointing penalty to concede. But, oh, Hector Ingram. He's missed it this time. He had a second opportunity to score from the spot and he's blasted it wide. And he has absolutely fluffed his lines there. A Sunderland goal kick. Sabara, good challenge by Mel Mitchell there. Fenton on. Oh, what a finish that is by Michael Fenton. What a finish. He's not been he's been chased around the park, but not by his owner shouting Fenton this time. You know the reference. You know it from when it was back a thing. Good finish by Fenton there. Though. Look at that. I mean that graces any league in the world, that goal. That was very much Paolo Di Canio esque. And we go up to fourth as Oxford are winning. We will make some changes now. Connor Shaughnessy is not having a good game, so we'll bring on Taylor Perry in the middle. Everyone else seems to be having a really good game. It would be harsh to take some players off. We'll just leave it at that for now. Just take Shaughnessy off, who's not having the best game. And we'll bring some praise into the boys. Malfrin, that's a poor throw. And what was he thinking there? Stevenson into Humphreys. Into the middle, finds Perry. His first touch of the ball, gives it to us. Mm hand, looking for Malfrin, picks it up. What can Malfrin do? Oh, I thought that had fired in the back of the net. Not to be. I thought that had just found its way into the back of the net. 8.4 from Casey Palmer at the moment. We'll drop some praise once again on these players who are playing so, so well. What a game this is for the neutral. 4-2. Humphreys into Stevenson. Humphreys again launches it forward. Malfrin has a go. Thought he was going to give it in front of him. He didn't. If he'd have just held the ball up a little bit more, I think Jones would have been there in front of him. We'll make some changes now. We'll bring Ian Jones off and bring Lundulu on for a little bit of a change up front. Malfrim will bring off for Ashley Nathaniel George, who's still here. A club legend now, Ashley Nathaniel George. Still still here, still doing the rounds. few appearances for him last season. I'm going to try and keep him as long as possible because, you know, I hate, I say I hate him. I didn't like him to start with. And he's really, really excited to become a bit of a legend for me. Sunderland looking for a long ball, but Mayor deals with that comfortably. Four minutes of added time. What can we do? Don't do something silly here, Archie. Mate. I thought he's done something silly. Oh, no. I thought he was just going to give it straight to Jack Vale, but he didn't. He did something even stupider. I thought he was just going to give it here, but he didn't. He's, I knew straight away he was going to do something silly. What is he thinking there? Straight away in Sunderland, 4-3. They've been given a route back into this game. They're just one goal away from getting a point here. And this would be a calamitous defeat, a, a draw here if they got back into it. Well, lucky they missed the penalty, but it doesn't matter. We've won 4-3 there. What a performance by our boys. I think we should have done a little bit better there. Should have not conceded as many, but we'll tell the boys it was a good win nevertheless. And there we are then, that result sees us go up to fourth on 20 points, just two points behind Cardiff and Plymouth, who are first and second respectively, and one point behind third-placed Wimbledon. And what we'll do is, viewers, we'll leave it there for today, and we'll come back for that Wimbledon game as they are currently above us in the table. And if you have enjoyed that video, viewers, please don't forget to smash that like button for me, share this video around, and subscribe to the channel for more content. Thank you very, very much for watching and I'll see you again for more next time.